Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. <clears throat> and and rather oh, muffin. Don't record, me, please. <laughs> don't record you, don't record you. I'm about to fix her hair. She's been driving me nuts. Like literally nuts. She was cool the first couple of days of Tampa. Towards the end, like, why am I yelling at you on vacation? And it didn't stop when we got home. I'm just I need a little break. So her going to her dad's this weekend is perfect timing. She's scared me out of doubt. I had to cry. Pops had told me to get under the little thing and scare her when she got in the car. Start crying. What you crying? Sure. How'd she hurt your feelings? It's scary. It was old school day. That's why you have a biggie shirt on. But she wouldn't. She had a big rope chain on her and like some glasses. That could have been so cute. She didn't want to wear it. We took a picture. Somebody had the same shirt as me and the same neck chain. And you don't want to wear the neck chain. You don't want to wear no, the No, somebody, somebody from my class had like a little like Dion chain. I'm like, bro, it's not, it's not no 24, okay? It's not no 24, okay? It's just old school day. It's not no real old school day, okay? It's chill, chill down with the corner. We're about to leave. She was supposed to get picked up from here, but it's getting too late. So we're at the house after her proud family episode is over. Like we're about to leave. Give me a hug. When you in my nails. When you get in my nails. I'm in my nails. I thought you said before my mom's birthday. Is it your mom's birthday yet? No. Okay. I can buy my silk flowers. Can you? Uh. Write my name when you say. Hey. Hey. Talking yes, myself for hours. Hey. 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 Keep going. I can take my silk flowers. And I can hold my hand. It's the copying for me. Love you. Love you more. Lock the door. Bars. All right, we're home. I'm about to make dinner, which I thought I was making for myself. Um, she wants the pizza we had yesterday, though. We have like a couple slices of that, but I still am making a little bit extra dinner in case she's still here. She was supposed to leave at 3. It's... 6 30 so we'll see <clears throat> i'm making a shrimp and sausage tomato pasta today's the last day i'm eating like this well maybe this weekend's the last weekend i'm eating like this because i really need to get back on my workout that i was doing before i got sick because the countdown to my birthday is fastly approaching so i'm enjoying myself this weekend and come monday it's time to get fit it's time to get fit because i need to work on eating better to control my bloat my bloat is my problem i have a nice stomach but when i bloat there's no need to have abs and your stomach is all the way out to here you know like what are the abs for with that bloat so that's why i'm working on eating better working out and trying to keep the bloat away but for now we're eating pasta okay all right here's a finished product i had to use italian spaghetti because i didn't realize i didn't have any fettuccine left but i'm actually happy with it Smells good, looks good. Sausage, shrimp, tomato. Kind of like a lemon zest too. Pasta. I also was craving Brussels sprouts, so I made a side of honey, balsamic, vinaigrette, air fried sprouts. Little kiddo one martini. And I might pop some capers on my pasta once I put it in the bowl. Technically, I made this to my liking, not her liking, because I didn't know she was gonna have any. So she did is having some, and I wanna know what she thinks. I made it to my liking. Yeah. It's spicy. Why is it spicy? Now she's saying it's spicy. Mind you, I put the same seasonings in that I put in everything else. There's peppers in it. She doesn't get to rate it this time because she already capped. So I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, my teeny, and I guess I have to watch Big City Greens until she leaves because I wanna watch my shows. Jesus wept, amen. Okay, good night, bye bye. Hello, hello, hello. Tis Saturday. Yesterday I didn't do nothing but sit on the couch, so I didn't want to bore you guys with that. Today is Saturday. Um, it is gonna be kind of a boring first half of the day because I have to work uh, a lot because next week I wanna like, during the week, just dedicate that to organizing my stilo room because I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to get the ball rolling with that. Still trying to get it out by March. 
So yeah, I wanna get these videos done early this week so that I can have my week open, which is why I'm working on the weekend, which should be a sin. But you know what? If I ain't gonna do it, who else is gonna do it? I also have hella packages to open, not hella, but a lot. And I need to open them so that I can put the boxes in the trash because trash comes Monday and I can't miss trash day like I always do because I hate pulling the trash up the driveway. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get some work done. Then I'm gonna get dressed probably around four. My brother wants me to go pick up the food. It's gonna be a small little gathering at um, their house. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. You know, my brother just refuses to turn the music off when I'm filming. He has no respect for my copyright free content. So I'm gonna try to film as much of the party as I can because you know, we always have a good time. But that's the plan for today. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Or actually it's Wednesday right now. So hope you guys had a great weekend. All right, yeah. Y'all, when I say I am on the struggle bus, first of all, I didn't get to finish my work that I was trying to finish today. That's number one. Number two, they went from saying to pick up the food at six to pick up the food at five. I never plan to pick up the food. So pick up the food from six to five is a whole hour jump, which means I had to cut my work short early. And I was already rushing. So as you can see, I'm dressed. I'm in the car, picked up the food. I was 20 minutes late to get it, but they were fine. Then I get in the car, my car don't want to start. You're thinking. Don't you drive a Tesla? Isn't that electric? How does it not want to start? Let me show you. See how everything is black? I don't know how fast I'm going. I have to gauge whether I'm in park, reverse or neutral, no backup camera, no nothing. I'm driving in the dark, which seems like it wouldn't be that bad, but baby, it's not even making a sound when my blinkers are on. So I had my like hazard lights on, couldn't hear them clicking. I was driving with my hazard lights on for heck of long because once I didn't need my hazard lights on, I couldn't hear them clicking to know to turn them off. You know what, but let's look on the brighter side of things, okay? Now I'm almost there. Can't tell you what time it is because my watch seems to always want to stop when it's in the watch winder, which defeats the purpose of it being in the watch winder because it's in the watch winder to stop it from not winding. Can't see the clock on the car. And then my clock on my phone is in my pocket and I can't get it because I gotta pee. But today, thus far, it's been a good day. I know I'm complaining, but just letting you know how I'm making the best out of my current situations, you know? Luckily, I don't need my navigation, so it's okay. And I'm taking the streets, so more than likely, I'm not gonna speed. And, you know, backup cam, we didn't always have those. Not a big deal if I can't see anything, you know? It all gets made up by having a great time tonight. That's the goal, as always. Have a good time. Have a good time. All right, it is 6.50. It appears their game is over. Just waiting for them to get here. Painting my nails in the meantime because I got nubs for now. I told you guys last video that I needed a new primer and it doesn't come till next week. And I have a wedding like two weeks after that. So I figured I'd just wait like a week or so before the wedding to do my nails. Hopefully the primer is good. In the meantime, you know, I'm just here alone. My balloons and food. I'm actually about to make me a plate because I want to keep drinking and I don't want to like crash. So I haven't eaten all day. It's about to be seven o'clock. So I want to eat, drink, and I guess wait for the guests. It officially starts at 7.30, which means eight. So I'll be here for a while. The doorbell has rung. Our first guest has arrived. Let's see who it is. It is very dark. It is Nene. It is the Nene. Hi. Hello. Why are you leaving so much space between the cars? I don't know. I thought it was close. Oh, really? <laughs> I wish you knew you were that close when you were driving my car. <laughs> You're the first one here. Obviously, it doesn't start until 7.30. I think Ev's G game just ended because he unfortunately said they lost, so it should be on the way. Look who's here. It's my fat fat. Okay. Hello. You did flip in here. And my Nori boy. Hi, Hi honey bunny. Hit the whoa, hit the dough, and I look Girl, at the Girl, stop teaching her how to be <laughs> ratchet. I'm a low, I'm a dough. She's a normal child. She's a normal <laughs> child. I'm a dough, I'm a dough, and she kicking like a roll. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. savage, yeah. Classy, bushy, acting. Yeah. Acting. <laughs> acting, stupid, we're happy. Uh, uh, See, you're uh, make, get get away from her. You're a bad influence. All right, come get your nails done. Where? It's gonna be quick, okay? Where do I sit? Where do I dance? Sit up here on this bar. She's been begging me to give her this little cheap gel set. Pick out your color. I'm gonna give you the colors to choose from. Client is under the dryer. I'm going to see who's here. 
Is it Winston? Oh, uh, I knew you were coming. I'll turn it back on. Hello, Dre. Hello, Winston. Hi. How's it going? It's going. Did you hear about this? About what? The game. <laughs> what game? Oh, so have they made it back home yet? Yes, they did. Oh. They just came here five minutes ago. G has already summoned me to turn the music back on. Is he working on baby number three? He might be. No, I hope not, because I'm over capacity with the children. Are you recording this shit? I am. Hey, this bitch. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want no more siblings. I already have one crazy sibling. Yes. I need some help. Yes. I need some help. He needs some milk. He needs need some help. milk. All right, I'm gonna turn the music back on. You said you wanted to get married. Oh, not you telling the business, sis. He said he wanted to get married, sis. Who told you that? Let me tell you. You know, you know, Callie got all the tea. Why you being weird to me? Why you being weird to me? You said you wanted to get married. Is that a TikTok? No, you just being crazy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish your nails, sis. Hurry up! Are oh, you gonna do your nails? Oh man. Jeez. Hello, ladies. I just wanna say thank you guys for coming out. You know, late on a Saturday, but it's still late. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're old. Is that what we're talking about? Don't project. Uh, my birthday today. I'm still the same age. <laughs> As you were two years ago. Okay. Yeah. But well, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you. All for coming on late notice. Was it late notice? I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bottles, 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 bottles. It's all you gotta do is get the bottles. You know what I'm saying? And for milk, shorty. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Woo, woo, chicken, chicken. Woo, woo, chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So old. Uh, Tell your mother to come forward. Come forward, mama. <laughs> what Thank we you. What we don't. What Come we don't. Here. What we don't. All right. On the count of three, we're gonna just do a little happy birthday. We're not gonna do an extended version. There we are. <laughs> yes, we are. You got to. We got to. Extended day. version of this. Happy birthday to you. Five, six, seven, eight. The old gray man. She ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. The old gray man. She ain't what. Y'all, I am so late. Not late, because nobody's called me. If nobody's called you to look for you, you're not late, okay? But I literally got dressed in 45 minutes, which is an all-time record. Thank you. I hear the applause. Thank you, yeah. I mean, 43 minutes. I don't know if I can ever beat that again. And the only reason why that was possible is because my helmet was on. Now, it's not perfection. See, I don't like when you can see the line and it looks like you can see where it starts and ends. But you know what? If you can see my lace, you're too close. I was supposed to be in my sister's house at 12, but my brain is so programmed to not doing anything on Sunday that um, I didn't get out of bed till 12 o'clock. So, good news is I still made time to eat a quick breakfast. Now I can have a little libation. You know what I've noticed? I might be ranting, but I really enjoy putting on a fresh pair of new jeans. The jeans I have on are new. I'll show you my outfit. Ooh, just don't look at the background because my house is a mess. I don't really like the color pants I have on. I wish I would've went a little darker. Yes, I'm wearing Balenciagas. I'm so sorry I'm not rich enough to give them away because I don't have any tennis shoes. All my friends are working on helping me find some tennis shoes because I only have like five pair. So I always either wear heels 
or Balenciaga's used to be my go-to. Now I just be feeling guilty when I wear them. Like, anyways, like I said, I'm ranting. I'm out of here. Um, my earrings are in my pocket. Okay. It's Sunday fun day. We're just going to the game. Probably not gonna do anything after since my mom has her kids, but I may convince them to get in a little trouble. What else would I be good for, you know? That's my job as a little sister, to get the big sister in trouble. In other news, I'm still driving in the dark. I'm gonna have to reset this. Oh my God, my grass looks horrible. I have to reset this when I get to my sister's house because you don't realize how much you need a backup cam until you need a backup cam. Not only that, but I'm one of those people that relies on navigation and now it's coming back to bite me in the ass because I can't drive anywhere without my GPS. It's like impossible for me. So I need to try to fix it when I get to my sister's. Hello, Pops. Hello, how are you? Where's my kids? Oh, you just walked right past your mother. Oh, hey, mom. What's up? Hi. Hi, honey. Oh, gosh. Here you go again. What I tell you? It is a sin to cry on somebody's birthday. Hi, brother. I fixed my car, finally. The Tesla. They're crap cars. Hey, guys. Content creator here. We just got to... Stay Farm Marina. Stay Farm Marina. Well, copyright free. I, I was talking about you yesterday. I know you guys don't watch my videos, but I was talking about you, how you always be hating on my copyright free content. And I'm a content creator. <laughs> I don't know, where, where are we gonna go somewhere before we go? And are we just going in and just staring at each other? We go to Sushi Spot. Thrive. Thrive. If they let us in, we never been there on Sunday. And they, oh, yeah, they do try to play your face every once in a while in a while but that's usually our go-to place so let's let's do it it's sunday what fun day and it's what sunday fun day and sunday fun. Uh, oh, oh and my birthday it's my sister's birthday and we all happy all right sorry i'm a content creator guys <laughs> all right thrive was closed so we're at park bar this is water <laughs> first of all i didn't know this is three for the price of one but i'm gonna give andrea some of this because this just looks like i'm not watching the game i'm about to be 37 so i'm making better decisions with my life ask about me grown and elderly yeah we're gonna eat it's my sister's birthday Oh, it's my birthday. Oh, I didn't know the music was gonna turn down. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I asked them if they do birthday things. They were looking like, bitch, how old are you? This is not your age. <laughs> but we're gonna sing our own song because that's what we do. Because we're content creators. Because we're content creators. <laughs> As you can see, I'm creating content. Because I'm content Check creating. out my channel. It's coming March. Check out my channel. Oh, yeah. He's claiming that he's gonna start posting on my daughter, my niece's. <laughs> I confused him, I'm sorry. My niece's channel, I Love Cali. So tell your kids to look out for that. And then TikToks. Mad TikToks. Mad TikToks. Mad TikToks. Mad TikToks coming soon. I need to, I need to, okay. Bye. Wait, they're moving. Oh my God. Look at this. That is creepy. It's not even Halloween. No, that's his regular life, That's his regular, regular <laughs> that's his regular creepy life. Yeah, Sir. Yeah. He's content creator. He's a content creator for sure. <laughs> she is so classy. She's drinking some champagne. We are at Brunch on Park. Is this brunch? Yeah. What? This is content creation. <laughs> we, uh, this is where you get your best content. How's your champagne? It's actually very good. How does it feel being 42? This is Ace of Spades. Oh, Do you feel not a day over 41? I feel... Because you're really not a day over 41 just yet. I told mom, I told mom asked me the same thing today. I said I feel fine until I look at uh, Nori and I realize I have a... Two month kids. Four-month-old? I'm 41 with four-month-old. It's crazy. I mean, but you don't look it. You're giving, um, I can have one more. Okay, went dark. But you are wearing it well. No bags, no dark circles, no wrinkles. No, I seen you yesterday. So we may be old moms, but we're cool moms. Cool moms. Milfs. What does milf mean? 
<laughs> Moms, I like to freak on. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something different, but. So the game started at 3. You know? I thought it started at 3.30. No. It is now 3.15. The game has began. <laughs> Why are you talking like this? I'm just saying, I didn't know the game started already. But uh, we're on the way there. Keep it down. Copyright free. <laughs> Do my weather report. Weather? Oh, he's doing the weather. A weather report. Hold on. It's a lot of snowflakes going on right now. By snowflakes, I mean. Ooh. Walker. Oh my God! I cannot <laughs> record that. <laughs> that got very ghetto. All right. All right. I see the iPad, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Well, it's not morning, it's 3 o'clock. <laughs> I've been so tired today. I think I woke up at like 12 because I had to. I promised myself I was going to be productive today, but since I didn't get my Sunday, my brain functionality is just not recognizing that it's a work day. I am in the carpool lane to get Yosh. I think another reason why I'm tired is because, um, I'm breakthrough bleeding again, so I wasn't expecting that. I do not want to cook today. I do not want to clean. I do not want to adult. Like, but I also don't want to spend any money because I spent probably $500 yesterday, which is unacceptable. That means no eating out this week, even though I do have to go to the grocery store right after I pick her up. Well, was that plan? Other than that, I'm still determined to have a productive week because regardless of what I don't do today, I'm doing it this week because there's no room to be unproductive. Almost less than 30 days to my birthday. April may get real crazy between me and Yoshi's birthday. Spring break and school ending. So March is like, it's imperative that I handle my business. Hi, bestie. Hi, bestie, Westie. Hi, my Tessie. Did you have a good day at school? Yes, ma'am. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, ma'am. That's good to hear. Yes, ma'am. We only good. have three more months left of school. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, you smell like outside. You always say this to me. It's all disrespectful. All good. I'm glad you had a good day and a good weekend. Thank you. Continuing off my lazy Monday. Look who's also having a lazy Monday. She's been asleep since probably 5 o'clock, 7.30. But I'm going to have to wake her up because I'm about to make dinner. Well, dinner, shrimp salad. And she usually likes to shower before she eats dinner. She's that kid who will literally have an attitude if she has to eat before she showers. Yosh, Kosh. Yosh. It's 7.30, honey. Are you going to eat first or are you going to shower? Hmm? Okay, so go shower because I'm hungry. You never even found me a movie to watch. You just kept it on the Netflix browsing channel. I can't find one. And you left me to stay on TikTok for two hours. Well, I didn't have to, but I got a little big bit. No. It's only 11 o'clock, but it feels like it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired. She's going to be tired too because she thinks she's slick. She ain't been asleep this whole time. I just decided to come in my room when I turned her TV off, so we're both gonna be tired. The only consistently sucky part about being a mom is waking up to take them to school. Like, I wish I could just hire somebody else to do it, because get somebody else to do it. I'm not a morning person. I have never been a morning person. Like, when I used to get ready for school, my mom used to have to, like, dress me sleep. Like, I, I, I've never, ever been a morning person, but... I'm not complaining, Lord. I've been doing it for 12 years. So the goal is to work my butt off Tuesday and Wednesday, get my house in order Thursday, Friday. And I'm gonna do it. But for now, I'm gonna shower and sleep. Say goodnight since you're already up. Good night. Good, night. Good afternoon. 
March is going to be very rambunctious, meaning like between trying to get Stilo up and running, there's a wedding um, that Yoshi's in that I have to prepare for. My best friend's supposed to be coming in town and I'm planning my birthday party before I go on my birthday trip. So I'm trying to just like stay at a good pace so that I don't get overwhelmed and stressed out for no reason. So far, so good. My shoot, my photo shoot for the um, Stilo is scheduled for Monday. I'm not necessarily prepared for it besides having the place booked and a photographer, but you know, it's we're, we're, we've taken some steps. I sold my basketball tickets. Look at that responsibility. Look at that adulting. I sold my basketball tickets this weekend so that I can prepare for the shoot and um, just prepare for everything upcoming in general and stay out of the streets. I'm supposed to be getting my car next week. Fingers crossed. It's only been over a year and it's already March. Like the years just don't age the same. They're like going always in fast motion it feels like because how is it already a month before my birthday like that's crazy i'm in the carpool line to pick up yosh tomorrow i have a doctor's appointment so i'm taking her to see my niece today because she's been bugging about 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 it bugging me about it pretty much ever since this child has been born she wants to go over here every day after school she was the same way with callie until callie became a little mean she had a little mean side to her for a long time and then by the time she turned nice again yo she was like <laughs> so hopefully let's just hope nori stays nice and happy it's my baby that's me what is that it's a pointer it was five dollars why would you spend five dollars on that zara <laughs> it's a pointer Zara, I'm so serious. That was not smart. That is at bare minimum a dollar. You need to learn the value of stuff because you spend too much money on the most, I don't want to say dumb, but that's dumb. <laughs> You're not even going to use that at all whatsoever. I can promise you that. And you spent $5 on that. Like, come on now. Anyways, what else did you buy? Oh, let me get it. I only got two things. Uh, on here, it says $8, but let me check my seat. So you paid the same amount for a book as you did for a plastic finger. No, the other one was $5. Yeah, that's pretty much the same. Like, anybody with the right mind would know that that's not a $5 purchase. Like... Okay, I can't... Okay, I'm back. Ow! That didn't hurt. You're so damn. What are you talking about? And don't play with me like that, Zara. Ooh, no, you ain't. Did you know we were here? No, oh, you ain't. She didn't even get scared like that. No, you ain't pulling the Zara on Don't Zara. mess with me. You understand me? Girl, why are you so violent? Well, let, me, let me see what you got in your hand. Turn it off. Who's it? Switch over. Where are we? Thank you. Is it me? Yeah. Always wear my hat. I need to get my life together. Thank you. We interrupted your nap, boy. boy. She's flying. All right, put her down. I believe I can fly. Three. Fly, boy. boy. Camera, let me show you my dance. So basically, like this. You're not. She's not. She's not showing you. Yes, I am. It's like this. Okay. Then I'm doing it right here. All right. I love you, honey bunny. No, get right there. I gotta, I gotta, gotta see you this dance 17 times. I, I, you did it when you right first there. came in. Happy, in Happy four so, month anniversary yeah. to life. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday, Nori? She's so sleepy. No, oh, I'm gonna leave you alone. She said, I got you, honey bunny. She said, don't mess with me, you understand me? Aye, aye, Captain. She's still laughing at your crazy self. Yeah, my honey bunny, my honey bunny, my honey bunny. Don't steal my baby. I gonna miss you. I gonna miss you. Both my babies. And I just had to take the longest shower because when I got home, I have like terrible weeds in my front yard and it's like that transition period where it's like dormant grass and then weeds. And they tried to tell me these weeds was untreatable. I had paid for weed service for over a year. I had talked to other weed service companies. Everybody's like, it's untreatable, it's untreatable. You're gonna have to um, do A, B, C, and D, pull them up from the root. And I was just like, 
Who? So I went and got this like weed killer on Amazon just to try it out. I didn't even think it was gonna work. Child, why did why why them weeds die? Well, the spot of the weeds that I sprayed. So then once I saw the weeds that I sprayed died, I had to go through the whole line. You guys know I have a big front yard and spray each individual sprout of weed. And I started to smell like a garden outside, chemicals. I was gagging. I didn't have any protective gear on, no mask. I'm new to this, not true to this. Don't want to do it again, but I'm gonna have to. But uh, I'll make her do it next time. <clears throat> what? Anyways, yeah, so I took a long shower. I just made dinner. I really wanted pasta, but I'm really trying to work on this, you know, this here, my, here, my eating habits, even though nachos really isn't that much better. But I'm not putting anything on the nachos besides salsa and jalapenos and a little sour cream and a little, no, just kidding. But I feel like the nachos would be a little bit lighter than the pasta, even though I wanted pasta. So I made her pasta, personal pasta, but it's really good because I just tried one and I wish I would have made it. And um, yeah, we about to eat. I always claim to taste different every time, which it does because I don't measure nothing. I use different stuff every time. So go ahead and taste it. See what, tell, me, tell me what it tastes like this time. Say your graces now. Oh, it's multiple noodles. Oh yeah, I have to do multiple noodles because you want a panne and we only had a little panne, so I have to do a little panne, panne thai. Little bow tie, little panne. Oh God. You better not say nothing about spice because you would really be I fat right now. Texture. Okay. That's some good pasta. Let's hear it. 11 out of 10. I knew I would make a comeback because it's just, you know, pasta is like my specialty. So was I worried? Not really. I mean, there's very few pastas that she doesn't like that I make unless I specifically make them for me. And she just wants some and then complains about it, which I don't like because girl, I wasn't even making for you. So why are you complaining? But, you know, um, I really don't have much to say because it's, you know, I'm not really too surprised. I really get the most anxiety when it's, you know, new dishes. So, um, <laughs> yeah, 11 out of 10, you know, anything 10 and up is a win. So it's just another good night in the Noel residence. So, uh, thank you. Or thank me. Thank me. Thank me. Thank me for not being picky. These kids, I tell you, just ungrateful. Thank you for not being picky. <laughs> like, it wouldn't matter. You still would eat pasta. Like, what are you talking to? All right, y'all, I'm headed to bed. Yo, she thinks she's slick, because I know she ain't sleep, so I'm about to turn off her TV. Good night. No, you wasn't sleep. She just swears I don't know her. Like, I know my child so much that it irritates me, because I already know I be walking into irritation. Like, I know you're not asleep, bro. I know you're not asleep. And then you... <sighs> and now she's about to come to my room. See? Watch. Yeah, so tomorrow let's try to go to bed without the TV on because you're not going to keep walking in my room because I turned the TV off in your room and you don't want to sleep without the TV on. It's past 11 It's past eleven o'clock now at this point, Zara. That means you've been watching TV this whole time. You knew you were supposed to be in bed over two hours ago. I don't have to fuss every day. Good night, y'all. All right, I just arrived to my doctor's appointment. I don't even know what they're gonna do today because I'm not due for an exam. I just am hoping this new doctor will care more about what I have to say and help me out because I'm still having issues. I'm trying to be positive and affirm that I'm gonna leave here feeling more confident and like my questions are gonna be answered. None of the options are gonna have to involve me losing my uterus and I'm still going to be able to function like a normal human being without being on birth control for the rest of my entire life. Those are my goals, leaving this appointment. Just want my old JJ back, that's all. But anyways, I'm about to go in. I'm just kind of procrastinating because I don't want to be in a bad mood after I get out, but positive affirmations. I will be in a great mood, get all the answers I need and all the answers I want and be in better health in no time. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, I'm back. It was a very short appointment, but very more informative than I've had previously. I switched doctors, as I told y'all. I've got a black doctor now, same office. I could tell, like, she actually read my file before she came in there. Like, she already knew all the surgeries I had, all the tests I've had, all the ultrasounds I've had. She she was like, she came in there without me having to, like, re-explain everything, which I appreciated. Even the nurse, her nurse even was like, she knew everything, too. So. That was a relief. She didn't even bring up the word, you know, histobanktami, like the last lady did as soon as I walked in there. She was like, I don't even want to put that on the table as an option because 
you still have other options to explore, which made a little tear trickle down my eye. But basically, long story short, I have to go back <laughs> and uh, get a, another ultrasound so she could see the position of the fibroid that's in my lining to see where it is and how it, how and if she could remove it a different way and how and if it would impact me having children which is not currently on the table right now so if god wanted me to have more children by now he knows like i'm in my live my life mode like i think he would have given me another one already however next year is like my official cutoff year so if i don't meet my husband for real for real this year then i just guess i'll just be traveling the rest of my life i'll be a travel vlogger <laughs> But yeah, my main concern is I don't want to lose my uterus and um, I want to have the option to say that I don't want any more children, you know? Speaking of pregnant. Hello. Hi, Hi honey. Hi, do you want anything from McDonald's? McDonald's? You don't look like a hood rat. <laughs> well, you're wearing a hood. <laughs> Thank you for asking. No, I think I'm just going to run to Publix and get a salad. I want to be a It's not discipline, baby. That's just my favorite food. <laughs> Anyways, um, what did you want for dinner? Because if I go to Publix, I can see if I need to get anything. Salad. Shrimp salad. Oh, that sounds good. Love you. Love you, too. Okay, bye. 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 I really don't feel like going to the store, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, y'all. That's just about it for this vlog. Right now, I'm about to get in the Mission Garage. My mom and my sister come over and help me because I need to make space for my car. I'm trying to like stack things up against the wall. Tati's supposed to take the Range Rover because I already gave the Tesla away. But that's a two seater and she got twins. So it just needs a little car wash, it still works. And here's the before. I'll show you guys at least the before and after, but I won't bore you with showing you how we clean it. But this is how it looks right now. And this is what it looks like now. Just gotta get rid of that car seat. Or not get rid of it, I'ma clean it because I'll probably need that for Nori eventually. But we got that whole side clear. This side's clear. I'll be able to park both my cars comfortably. And then we organized all our stuff in that little corner. But that is all for now. Thank you guys for watching this video. And until next time, love ya. Mwah.